Hello there, Intergoes back with another ZX Spectrum programming video and today's video is going to be called Pyramids and again I'm getting this program from the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus user guide book which came with a lot of Spectrum Pluses back in the day so if you want to uh, read up on what I'm doing you can get hold of one of those books and this is it's quite a simple program to use the for and the next commands uh, to show loops in graphics. Now I say it's quite simple as it's quite short but there's a little bit of um, sort of maths going on here which is quite complicated and it took me a little while to wrap my head around what's going on here so I'm going to try and explain it but bear with me and if you get lost I'm sorry but I'm going to try my best to uh, show you what's going on here so if we just run it first of all because then you'll see what's happening before I try and explain it So there we go. Um, so we've got the black border, we've got blue paper, and we've got yellow ink. We've got these lines going along the bottom of the screen which is representing the floor. And we've got these five pyramid shapes which are filled in triangles. Now if you watch my other video about filled in shapes you'll know how to do a triangle. But obviously this video or this program shows you how to make these triangles get um, larger as they go um, nearer to the screen and also move along so they're not all over um, completely overlapping each other to make this effect of five pyramids in a row and to do this on a small program is obviously quite complicated so we'll go into that now starts off easy we got 10 border 0 which is black paper 1 which is blue, ink 6 which is yellow, line 20 clear screen so it just wipes everything off the screen, then we've got line 30 so we're using a 4 command, y equals 0 to 20 and it will step up in 2's so it'll start off at 0 and when it gets to the next command it will loop round and add 2 to it, line 40 we're using the plot, so this is where the first dot goes onto the screen and it's going at um, position 0 which is this side of the screen and wherever Y is at the moment, so it starts off at 0 obviously jumps up in 2, so it goes up and at the moment this is so 0, 0 right in the corner so that's where the plotted point is and it's going to draw a line which is 255 pixels across but it's not going to go up and down at all so it's just going to be a straight line and then it's going to loop back and add 2 to it so this will basically start at 0, zero draw a line straight across the screen it will then jump up 2 points, 2 pixels draw another line, jump up 2 pixels, draw another line and once it gets to 20 it will stop so we will get 10 lines going across the screen so that's the easy part of the how to draw the lines at the bottom of the screen once that next has finished it will go drop down to the next line now this is where it gets a little bit complicated and I'll try and explain it as best as I can but if I lose, if I lose you then put a comment below and I'll um, try and explain what's going on so 70 we've got another 4 command and this is for the letter N so N is going to equal 100 to 220 and this one's going to step up in 30 points each time now the reason this is doing it is because obviously we're going to do 5 pyramids and we want them to start over here and work their way up so we're, we're using these numbers to plot the points where the um, top of the pyramids are and also how far the line goes down so if you go up in 30s it starts at 100 then 130, 160, 190, 220 so we get 5 numbers before this um, 4 statement finishes for the 5 pyramids so we'll go back to that and now line 80 is another 4 command and this is for the letter X now this looks quite complicated so we've got minus 10 minus N 
divided by 10 going up to 10 plus n divided by 10 and this will jump up one step at a time so I've explained in previous videos also that when you use mass in this um, programming it will do anything in brackets first which we haven't got anything then it will do times and divide so the divide will happen first and then um, plus or subtract will come afterwards so what this is saying is we need this n value which at the start is 100 so we've got minus 100 divided by 10 which gives you minus 10 and then we're taking another 10 off of it so this first one is minus 20 so the range is from minus 22 now this is exactly the same but we've got a plus n instead of minus n so you've got plus 100 divided by 10 which is 10 and then you plus and 10 to it so to 20 so really it looks quite complicated but what it's saying is this x value is going to first start at minus 20 and go up to 20 and it will go up in ones so hopefully that makes sense now line 90 is going to plot where the top of the first pyramid is going to go so we want n which as we know at the start is 100 so it will go 100 pixels in and then this one is how many pixels it goes up so we got n which is 100 divided by 10 which gives you 10 plus the 35 which is 45 so it's going to go in 100 and up 45 to give you the point of where the top of the first pyramid is once you've got that top of the pyramid we now want to draw these lines going down and skipping across one each time to make the filled in triangle so we're going to draw a line from that top point of the pyramid and we're going to go to x which if you remember first instance was minus 20 so from the top of the pyramid it's going to go back 20 and then it's minus n which is 100 so minus 100 divided by 4 which sounds complicated but we're only going back minus 20 and then we're going down minus 25 so that's what that's saying so from the top point we're coming down like this in a diagonal line and it's going to draw that line like it did on the um, previous video when we did a triangle so on the next line it's saying it's got to do the x4 command and once they're all done it will then do the n4 command so we've got to do all the x's first so it will drop jump back up here to 80 and like I said remember it only goes up one at a time and this is minus 20 to 20 at the moment so this x will then go to minus 19 and it will go through, through this again and it will draw the next line from the top of the pyramid one pixel across and it will keep going like that until it's drawn the whole triangle and that's when this uh, x figure will get up to its last one which is 20 and then it will stop once that happens it will skip past this bit go to the n command next n and jump back up to line uh, 70 which is just above now this is where it plots the new top of the pyramid so the second pyramid and as we remember it's stepping up in 30s so this n value is now 130 so all this means is instead of having the, the plotted point here it's now going to be 30 pixels this way it's also going to make it go um, slightly higher and it's also going to make the draw line slightly longer so if you remember from when I run it each pyramid comes across um, a few pixels and then gets bigger so by increasing this by 30 each time it changes all these equations so that the plot point jumps over here goes up a little bit and this line gets longer 
and then runs through this whole sequence again just filling in that tri bigger triangle. Once that's done it drop back up here again and it will go to uh, the next in the step, so step up again to 160 and again it will move the triangle uh, plot along here up a bit higher make the line a bit longer and that's all it's doing really and because it's stepping up in 30s it does it five times to make each triangle slightly bigger and making five pyramid shapes now to me that's making sense hopefully it does to you and I'll just run it one more time so you can see what I was talking about there and uh, it might hopefully um, click into place for you So there we go. So the first one started there, drew all the lines going across, then uh, it skipped up 30 pixels, so it came across here, went up a little bit and drew a bigger line, filled it in, up a bit, drew a line, filled it in, and did that five times to make these nice yellow triangles. So hopefully that's um, explained that enough to you. Uh, that took me a long time to figure out, so um, I'm hoping it, it made sense. So next I'm just going to go uh, to the next little part of this program and it's called uh, Pyramid 2, I'll just open it up and we've, we're just adding lines 115 down. In the actual um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus user guide it starts at line 120 but I've added in an extra line because um, they've done it so it just keeps repeating and repeating and the program doesn't stop. So I've added in an extra four com uh, commands so it only does it 30 times and then it stops the program, which I think works a little bit better. So if we start at that line uh, 115, which is the one I've added in, I put a four command and uh, I've named the letter R for repeat, just so it's easier to remember you can use any letter there and 0 to 30 because we want it to repeat 30 times and it will get down to the next part at the end, end of the program and repeat this bit then at 120 it says let x equal a random number times by uh, 255 so this is just basically getting um, a range of numbers between 0 and 255 and it's just picking one at random. Next line 130 we do the same but with uh, a y value and it's ranging the numbers from well it's, it's times it by 104 and then adding 71 to it so it could be instead of 0 it could be 71 up to 170 uh, 175 and the reason this is because we're going to use these two values to shoot random stars up at the top of the screen uh, so it can be any X value up here but we want the Y value to be higher than the pyramids so that the stars are in the sky uh, line 140 we want to let the L letter be an integer number which is a whole number but obviously we do this stuff in the brackets first it takes the y value which is the random value up here it takes 175 away from it and then divides it by 8 now the reason it does this is because these are going to be shooting star values up at the sky and now the star um, character here is a low resolution graphic whereas the pyramids and the lines are high resolution graphics and if you remember high resolution graphics they plot from the bottom corner so zero zeros down here whereas um, the low resolution graphics they start up here zero zero also the size of the pixels are eight times smaller than the size of the square so there's 8 pixels going down and 8 pixels going across because there's 64 pixels filling up this whole square so what this is doing 
is it's converting the um, high resolution plotted point into a low resolution plotted area if you know if you can see what I'm saying here and it's doing the same for this value here let C be an integer which is what the random X number is divided by 8 so it's basically flipping the um, plotted line into a low resolution plotted square up here on the screen so if we go down to the next line we've got 160 and it's going to plot at 0, 0 so it's going to put a, a, a dot right down in this bottom corner and this is a new command here over so we, we know what draw is so it draws a line from this plotted point to another point but what over does you can have either over 1 or over 0 if you put over 1 it draws an image over the top of the of another image which is already on the screen so that they're overlapping each other so you're drawing over it whereas if you put draw over 0 what it will do is it will destroy the thing which is already on the screen and then put the new picture over the top so what we're doing is we're drawing so this line if it goes through something it's actually drawing over the top of it so you can see both things and so from um, 0 0 it's going to go and draw a line up to this random X number and this random Y number so it's going to shoot a line from this bottom corner up to wherever that plotted point is and it's going to make a beep when it does it so it makes a sound then to get rid of that line because it's meant to be like a shooting um, line we're doing exactly the same line as we did in 160 at line 180 and because we're drawing over it again it's negating what we've just done so it's drawing a like a yellow line I think it is and then this command is then blanking it back over with the um, the background color which is blue so that's what that is doing drawing it and then getting rid of it in line 190 it's saying print at which if you remember you can print a low um, resolution graphics at an area and we're going to use the LC so like I said it's taking this high resolution plotted point converting it into a low resolution area on the screen which is going to be the same as where that line shot out to and it's going to print a star there so say it shot out to here it's then going to print a star at the same location as where that line ended so hopefully it looks like it's shooting stars into the, sc into the sky the final line I put in at number 20, uh, 200 and that's next R so it repeats that 30 times and it will shoot 30 stars into the sky so let's see if it works and see if you can understand what I'm talking about And there we go nice little effect looks like a nice starry sky over the pyramids and um, as you can see the line was shooting out to the star disappearing and then it's printing a star graphic at that location and then it returns 200 saying that the programs finished so there we go hope you liked that um, couple of programs I did there uh, hopefully it wasn't too confusing if you do want to ask any questions please do remember I am only learning myself and it took me quite a while to work the um, program out to try and explain it to you so thanks for watching please remember to follow up the video and leave a comment I love to read them and I'll be doing another video soon cheers